استاذ محمد ما في صوت كده عندنا تمام الصوت كده شغال؟ ايوه كده سمعنا حضرتك كده. Today we are to move to conditional sentence type 3 and we are to talk about its usage. Conditional sentence, the conditional sentence consists of two clauses. Uh, the main clause and the if clause. Let's start to see. The if clause consists of if plus plus perfect, uh, plus plus perfect. Uh, if clause consists of if plus plus perfect and the main clause consists of would or could or might plus have plus plus participle. So let's look at the sentences. Uh, if I had found a better job, I would have quit a long time ago. This sentence is used to talk about unreal or imaginary situation in the past, but the first usage for Conditional sentence type three is to talk about unreal or imaginary situations in the past. For example, if I had found a better job, I would have quit a long time ago. Here, the sentence describes an imaginary situation. If I had found a better job, لو كنت لقيت وظيفة, I would have quit a long time, كنت استقلت منذ فترة طويلة. And in fact, I didn't find any better job, and I still didn't quit. Number one, to talk about unreal or imaginary situation. Number two, to express regret. When you regret something, you can express you regret using the third conditional. If I hadn't gone to bed so late last night, I would have woken up on time this morning. If I hadn't gone to bed so late last night, I would have woken up on time this morning. In this sentence, we have the if clause, if I hadn't gone to bed so late, and the main clause, I would have woken up on time. Here, the writer regrets not going to bed on time. He regrets going to bed. He regrets going to bed. He regrets going to bed late. So this sentence expresses regret. We also use the third conditional to criticize somebody or something. To criticize somebody or something. If you had completed your degree, you might have found a better job. Here, you are criticizing the person you are addressing, and you are talking about here that if he had completed his degree or completed his studies, he would have found a job. So you criticize someone, uh, you are criticizing his behavior, and you are talking about his behavior. So we use the third conditional and conditional sentence type three to talk about unreal or imaginary situation in the past, to express regret, and to criticize somebody or something. If we use it in a different way, or 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 in a And we said, if the if clause consists of if plus plus perfect, had plus plus participle the verb, and the main verb will, will consist of would or could or might plus have plus plus participle of the verb. So if I had found, here we have 
that in the if clause had found after if we use past perfect have plus past participle of the verb had found and in the main clause would plus have plus past participle of the verb would have walked uh, would have found okay so uh, let's try to discuss uh, this exercise and try to uh, get the answers how did Tony do in the interview? Not too well. If his CV more professional, he the job. Uh, we want uh, somebody to try to answer this question in the chat area. Well, answer with us who will, she who will participate with us. Number one, how did Tony do in the interview not too well. If this CV more professional, he the job. Here we have if close the third conditional. In the if close, we said that we use the past perfect. And in the main close, we, we said that we use would or have, or could plus have, have plus pull well. Answer the first item number one. The writer answers in the chat box. We have Muhammad Al-Asmari, Ahmed, Ahmed Walid. Who else who will participate with us? Who will try to answer this question? Muhammad Al-Asmari and Ahmed Walid said that uh, not well if his CV had been had been okay the next part huh, we used here the past perfect and the next part huh, the main clause will consist of what huh, he get the job who get the job he would or could have got the job <clears throat> If his CV had been more professional, he would or could have get, uh, he could, uh, he would or could have got that job. Number two, it's a shame we missed the documentary. If we, what time it was on, we it. Here we have the third conditional. If close will be, as we said, if close consists of if plus past per plus past perfect. So we need to use the past perfect. Like Muhammad al-Asmari said, it will be had no. Okay, we, then the main clause will consist of what? Hmm? The main clause, as we said, would or have, would or could. Would, would or could plus have plus past participle of the verb, would or could, might plus have plus past participle of the verb, so it will be would have watched it. And number three, what do you mean he dis what do you mean he disappeared into the air? I know that it sounds incredible, but if you see it, you believe it. As we said, we want here to use the third conditional. After if we will use what we want to use. So if you had seen you, Michal Zarani, thank you, who will answer had seen. The next part, the main clause will consist of what? Who will answer? I'm waiting for your answers. It will be would have believed. Would have believed. The next part, number four, it was a bad idea to wait for the bus. Yes, I know. We earlier, if we home. Here we want to use the third condition. We, earlier if we walked home. Here in this sentence, we want to 
determine the main clause and the if clause. We arrive, this is the main clause, and if we is the if clause. As your mate Muhammad said, Muhammad Lasmari, the answer will be would we would have arrived because this is because this is uh, the main clause earlier so the if clause will consist of the past perfect so here we will use had walked we would have arrived earlier if we had walked home did you buy a laptop well i went back to the shop and they had none left i was so disappointed if i they were so popular i buy it when i first saw it the if clause will consist of what if i where are the answers i'm waiting for your answers if I had known, I would have bought, would have bought. So the third condition consists of if clause and the main clause. In the if clause, we use the past perfect. And the in the, in the main clause, we use would or could or might plus have plus past participle of the verb. As we said, we use the third conditional to talk about imaginary situation, to criticize somebody or something, or to regret not doing something or doing something, to express regret in general. So let's move to the next section. Uh, listening and reading. Is being overweight a serious problem? Why, why not? Do you think there are both, there are both healthy and unhealthy ways of losing weight? Can you give a few examples each? Overweight, what is overweight? Overweight, extra weight or excessive weight, you know, you so when we talk about overweight, it's extra weight. Is extra weight or overweight represents a problem? Let's try to see. Uh, we have a dial and we will try to discuss Mary's problem. What is Mary's problem? What is she going to do about it? <coughs> hey. We have a dialogue between Lisa and Mary. Lisa and Mary, hey, Ma hey, Mary, what's wrong? You look a bit down in the dumps. Look a bit down. When something, uh, when someone looks a bit down, he uh, feels upset. He feels depressed. He feels upset or depressed. Uh, that's because I am. I went to the doctor yesterday, and she weighed me as a part of my routine checkup. A checkup is a medical examination to see if everything is right. She went to the doctor for a checkup. I have gained 15 pounds since my last visit six months ago. She gained extra weight, and she wants. To to get rid I'm sorry to hear that, but it doesn't show if that makes you feel any better. Thanks, if only I had been more careful with my eating habits anyway. Uh, if only I had been more careful with my eating habits here that she regrets not being careful with her, with her eating habits. Anyway, there is no point in sitting around and mopping. There is no point, it's no use, it's not working. Mopping and shedding tears, crying will not be useful. I have to focus on shedding these extra pounds. I have to focus on, I, I have 
to try to lose this extra weight. Don't worry, it will be a piece of cake. Don't worry, it will be so easy. The expression, a piece of cake means so easy. Once when I wanted to lose 10 pounds, I ate only one meal a day and I exercised a lot. I exercised a lot. I lost 10 pounds in less than a month. Well, I don't want to starve myself. I don't want to starve. Starve mean eat very little. My doctor told me I should eat four small meals a day and avoid sugar. Unfortunately, 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 she also told me to exercise three or four days a week. I hate exercising. I wish I could lose weight without doing anything. Here, the, um, the speaker hates exercising and she wants to lose weight without doing any bit of exercise. Perhaps you can take some weight loss supplements to speed up. Uh, supplements means Uh, some things that are used to complete or make an addition. Perhaps you can take some weight loss supplements to speed up to speed up your metabolism. Speed up means to make it go faster. And metabolism means uh, the chemical process in your body. The chemical processes in your body uh, are the metabolism. اللي هي العمليات التمثيل الغذائي والعمليات الحيوية الميتابوليزم. My cousin Julie took them and lost eight pounds in two weeks. When her cousin took uh, supplements, weight loss supplements, she lost eight pounds in two weeks. Yeah, I know these slim quick diet pills are all the rage. Are all the rage means very popular. I know that these pills are very popular. But my doctor strongly advised me against using weight loss supplements. But the doctor advised not to use these pills. She said some uh, of them could be extremely dangerous. Plus, when you stop taking them, you just gain back all the weight you lost. Yeah, I guess you're right. My cousin did gain back all of the weight she lost when she stopped taking the pills. If only losing weight was as quick as and easy as you say, but it looks like it's a process that needs to be done right. To tell you the truth, the 10 pounds I lost did not stay off long after I stopped exercising and started eating normally again. I guess I should try losing weight the healthy way we can do it together. So, uh, some of the highlighted words here, checkup, as we said, means it's a medical examination to see if everything is okay. And mopping, mopping means uh, shedding tears and trying, feeling miserable and so on. Shedding, the word shedding means to lose, shedding, losing. Starve, to eat very little. The word starve means eat very little and speed up to make something go faster. A process, the word uh, process means a series of actions, a series of actions. Let's move to the next section. Read the dialogue and decide whether the following statements are true, false, or not mentioned, right? T, F, or N, M in the box. Mary wasn't very careful about what she ate. Mary wasn't very careful about what she ate. True, false, or not mentioned. Mary. Mary was not careful about what she ate. 
is it true, false, or not mentioned? It's true. The next one. Uh, Lisa thinks that Mary will lose weight easily. This is true or false or not mentioned. Lisa thinks that Mary will lose weight easily. Hmm. True. Mary uh, doesn't mind exercising. Mary doesn't mind exercising. Ahmed Lesmary said false. Um, Mary's doctor suggests that she should try taking weight loss supplements. This is true or false? Hmm. Number four, Mary's doctor suggests that she should try taking weight loss supplements or he advised her not to use these supplements. So it will be false. Uh, Mary realized that there is no quick and easy way to lose weight. Mm, there is no way, no quick and easy way to lose weight. Ahmed and Esmail, two. Uh, Mary will probably gain back all the weight she will lose. Is it true or false or not mentioned? It's not mentioned. It's not mentioned. The next part, check up, mopping, shading, starve, speed up, process. These are the highlighted words in the text. And we would, and we will try to match their mean, the meanings. We will try to match the meanings. Number one, chikab. The word chikab means what? I will try to answer chikab. Chikab means what? Chikab means number one, two, it's a medical examination to see if everything is all right. Michal Zarani, thank you. Number two, mopping. The word mopping means what? Mopping. Hmm. Mopping. Faisal. Hmm. The next part, the word mopping. Mopping mean? D, feeling miserable. The word shedding. The word cheating means what? Huh? The word cheating means, huh? Ahmed Al Asmari said, hmm? B, 3B, no. Cheating not B, who else? Huh? Mean, huh? Lose. The word cheating means lose. Starve. Starve means what? Starve. The words huh? to starve, to eat very little, as Yassin said, to eat very little. Speed up. What do you mean by speed up? Speed up means huh? to make something go faster, as you said, B. The last one, process, means what process? The word process means A, it's a series of actions. So the word checkup means a medical examination to see if everything is all right. Mopping means uh, feeling miserable. Shading means losing, starve to eat very little and speed up to make something go faster. Process means a series of actions. Let's move to the next part. We have some expressions like a bit down in the dumps, a piece of cake are all the rage, and we want to 
try to see the meanings and try to discuss the meanings of these expressions. Number one, when someone locks a pit down the dumps, means what? It means he is in a depressed mood or he is feeling sad. He is in a depressed mood or he's feeling sad. So the word or the expression a bit down in the dumps means feeling sad. A piece of cake, this expression when something is a piece of cake, it's so easy. It's easy. A piece of cake means easy. Are all the rage? All the rage means very popular or fashionable. It's liked by a large number of people. Read the sentences and match the idioms. These idioms in bold with their meanings. The idioms in bold, we want to match them with the meanings. Number one, I know chocolate is bad for me, but I can't stop eating it. I guess I have a sweet tooth. I have a sweet tooth. When someone has a sweet tooth, this means that he likes sweet, tasty foods. He likes sweet, tasty foods. Sweet tasty food, sweet tasting food, sweet tasting food, um, foods that contains a lot of sugar. Number two, the teacher told the students to learn the poem by heart. When someone learns something by heart, he memorizes it perfectly. He memorizes it perfectly. Number three, uh, when I found out that I had passed all my exams, I was on cloud nine. I was on cloud nine. When someone is on cloud nine, means that he's very happy. He's so happy. Uh, number four, if I wear in your shoes, if I wear in your shoes, I would inform the police. If I wear in your shoes means if I was in your situation, if I was in your place, so if I wear a new shoe, if I wear a new shoes means uh, if I wear in your place. Like when I say, can you put yourself in my shoes? Can you put yourself in my place? Number five, who told you the secrets? John spilled the beans. When I say spill the beans means spill the beans means tell a secret, tell a secret. Stop beating about the bush and tell me what you want. When someone beats about the bush, he avoids talking about what is important. He discusses a matter without coming to the point. He avoids talking about what is important. So let's try to match the idioms with their meanings. Number one, have a sweet tooth. What do you mean by have a sweet tooth? Hmm. Have a sweet tooth means hmm, to like food with a lot of sugar in it, like Yasin and Ahmed said. Number two, the teacher told the students to learn by the boy by heart. Learn by heart means what? Hmm. Number two, I will answer. Number two means huh, learn by heart means to memorize, to memorize. Number three, it was on cloud nine. Was on cloud nine means what was on cloud nine means. Huh? Number three, to be in someone's place or to memorize or to be very happy. Huh? Number two. Number uh, number three will be B as it since said. Thank you. Was in cloud nine means very happy. If I were in your shoes, hmm, to be in someone's place. Thank you, Ahmed Walid. Number five, John spill the beans. Spill the beans means what? Spill the bean. When someone spills the beans, he. Hmm. Number five, he tell a secret. He tell a secret. And the last item, stop beating about the bush and tell me what you want. When someone beats about the bush, he avoids talking about what is important. So it will be to not to speak directly about something, to discuss a matter without coming to the point.
The answer will be F, D, B, C, A, and E. Uh, this today, this is all for today. Inshallah, next Sunday we are to discuss wishes and unreal past. If you have any question or if you have any comments, please write in the chat box. عندك أي استفسار أو أي تعليق تقدر تكتب في الشات أريا منطقة الشات أو إن شاء الله يوم الأحد القادم هنكمل الجرامر بتاعنا ال wishes and unreal past أي استفسار يا شباب شكرا شكرا سو مصطفى شكرا لك